It is Saturday, September 6, 2025. Thank you for being part of this channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers, thousands just over the last few days. You'll find this uh, the best weather community around. All right, this tropical disturbance still, like we were talking about yesterday, I have not seen additional signs of development. That is great news to pass along. So I wanna cover that. The eventual flood threat though, that that will bring us and different areas of rain in the short term that will also bring us flooding. Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, Costa Rica, Panama, Jamaica, we're going to see some storms. And in this video, I want to cover Kiko, which will be uh, making its way toward Hawaii. So uh, a lot to cover. Thank you for your patience. All right, let me show you this. Here we are in the Caribbean. It's this tropical disturbance here. I mentioned yesterday morning, it was a struggle to figure out what, what it would do, uh, how the environment was shaping up. But I want to show you this. Don't often show this map. This is our dry air tracker. You see here this uh, uh, kind of orangey shading. These uh, This is the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. So we're kind of way up above. This here is some very dry air so as this works its way into that, it doesn't allow it to develop. That is a very good thing. Now, long term, we're going to watch this, though, for the potential of flooding down the road and keeping an eye on it just to see if it does eventually spin up. Sometimes you see these things get over very warm water and then they kind of uh, regenerate. And then back behind it, a strong tropical wave as well, or just kind of a, a disturbance, if you will. This actually may kind of take over this one. So we'll wait and see in another tropical wave that will be coming off that will be tracking together but never taking my eye off the ball this time of year look close to home right now we've got a couple things this big blob northern Colombia Panama Costa Rica we're seeing the uh, flood threat Nicaragua I'll show you the rain totals big rain totals still scattered areas of rain we had some big thunderstorms parts of the Cayman Islands Cuba Bahamas yesterday Jamaica Haiti we'll see some more the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico and Trinidad and Tobago the very high chance of rain for today that'll spill over into North Northeastern Venezuela and Grenada uh, with the potential of some flooding. So heads up, thank you for sharing this information in those locations I just uh, mentioned because that flood threat is going to be higher over the next 24 hours. Then this out here, look at uh, Hawaii. This is Kiko watching this. This is what's left of Lorena. We'll cover some of the rain totals back through uh, Texas, New Mexico, and Mexico as we work forward. Now back to the tropical disturbance uh, that has been grabbing the attention for good reason. Uh, no doubt several days ago, it looked like it was going to become a hurricane, but that dry air really uh, winning out. The American model, European, Canadian, and the ICON model, all four big models have this not developing into uh, a tropical a storm or a, a hurricane. Now I've been doing this for a lot of years. That's great news. Uh, with that, I want to watch it though, just as it continues to move in. One for the potential of some flooding. A tropical wave could bring us some uh, flooding. We, we know about that. And then just to see if it tries to kind of regenerate as it works closer to the uh, Bahamas and back toward uh, the uh, Caribbean. So there is a chance, slight chance of development out of it, but again, much, much lower chance of that at this point. And you get it, we're over here in the uh, Caribbean. You get a look at the models. Most of the models just actually have this area kind of fall apart and you could see it here. Now, uh, you look at this uh, map here. These are those same computer models over time. This is a day out, two days out, three days out, four days out. The main models all have this staying below Low a tropical storm or just really uh, simply falling apart, just staying kind of a tropical wave, and that is it. These squiggly lines up here, those are different types of computers, so that those uh, those we don't pay attention to for this regard, uh, and that's why sometimes it drives me nuts uh, when I see those squiggly lines pointed at someone. Uh, these are all different types of computers; they mean different things, and that's why uh, I appreciate you being part of this channel so I could get out the uh, right information. It's these computer models uh, that really are the big ones for a tropical system. None at this point, at least in the short term, are showing this becoming a tropical storm or hurricane. But as I mentioned, the warm water is out ahead of it. So we're going to monitor this throughout the entire uh, duration of this tropical wave to see if it gives us any flooding. And I'll show it to you in just a second and to see if it does feed off the water and try to spin up. So it's not out of the question it becomes a tropical depression or even a little bit more down the road. But the chance is just lower because the dry air is winning out even though those water temperatures are very warm. Now, let me show it to you here. This is the American model, but it is the same as the European icon and German uh, model. They're almost showing the exact same thing. So let me show you this. It's this spot right here that we've been watching, watching that tropical wave back behind it. As we work our way into Tuesday, Tuesday to Wednesday, that's when that tropical wave
wave will start to move in. So increased rain, Dominica, St. Martin, Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, back through uh, British and U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. But watch this as well. I mentioned this about a week ago. Uh, we're going to need to watch the Western Caribbean. So a couple things going on here we really need to pay attention to the next couple days. One, this tropical wave, the first one. But this spot in through here, uh, Jamaica south, uh, back toward Honduras, Providencia, San Andres, uh, watching both of these areas. Not The chance of them developing, I want to be clear, are both low. But it's not out of the question. There could be some development in these spots. So this here Thursday would be the the additional rain from that tropical disturbance, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and that flood threat. So I'll keep an eye on this for any tropical development. Also watching this though, as it kind of builds even back toward Belize, there is the potential of something trying to spin up right in here as we go throughout the week in the Western Caribbean. And then a new tropical wave that will come off later this week. Most of the models are latching on to development, but like we've been talking about the last few days, I don't just look at the models, we're reading the environment together. I'll keep you posted on that, but we need to keep an eye on close to home because there are some extra areas of rain. Now for today, you see it here, and let me take you out in time of this tropical disturbance, scattered areas of rain, but widespread Trinidad and Tobago, that chance of flooding, giving you the heads up, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, and then as we work our way into tomorrow, still scattered storms, uh, Jamaica back through Haiti, the DR, uh, and you see some of that additional rain, St. Vincent, the Grenadines will see some of the rain, Bahamas, Central Bahamas, even Southern Bahamas chance of rain, but as we go out in time here, this is by Monday, and you can see our, our next tropical disturbance is about to slide in. Let me stop it here. This is Tuesday, so on Tuesday, this is that tropical disturbance we're watching as of now, not seeing development out of that, but this is some of that rain that will start to kind of build and shift up to the north. So I'm also going to watch out to see if this does develop. Models are hinting at a little bit of development. We'll see if anything even slides its way up to the uh, Gulf. So a couple spots to really keep an eye on as we go over the next few days. Now here's a, a big spot. This is a powerful hurricane, major hurricane right here. This is Kiko. Here's Hawaii. So we're in the uh, Pacific, back into the Central Pacific. There will be weakening, not so much today, but more so tomorrow. Tomorrow. Then as we work our way into Monday, substantial weakening. Why is it going to weaken? <clears throat> well, the atmosphere is kind of hostile and it will encounter some cooler water. So watching Hawaii, this should ride very close though to Hawaii as either a tropical storm or just a system that's kind of diminishing, uh, watching out for some of the uh, remnants of it. But we'll monitor this. If this were to shift a little bit more to the south, that could bring uh, tropical storm conditions by the time we get into Tuesday and Wednesday to several of the Hawaiian islands. So we're going to, let me show you the uh, models on this and the track on this. We're going to watch it. Now a major hurricane now, and then it will start to weaken, but it should still be a tropical tropical storm nearby. So that may give us some bigger rain bands, kind of squally weather, of course, those higher seas and those swells that will be working in. But as we work our way uh, Tuesday to Wednesday, there is the potential of some tropical storm in impacts. Most of the models keep the tropical storm conditions just to the north, but if there's any shift to the south, that could bring more significant weather. So we'll be tracking that together. But you see the weakening trend on this over time uh, going down uh, uh, after today. Today's still kind of category three, category four, and then there will be that weakening. Now, we get a look at some areas of rain we're watching near Florida, the northern Bahamas. We've been watching that. That's what's been near Cuba and the uh, Cayman Islands. Some bigger storms uh, coming out of uh, Quebec, moving toward New Brunswick, watching the remnants of Lorena. Just keep an eye on some of the rain in here, but there's some of the rain. New Brunswick, New England, scattered storms today into tomorrow, moving toward Newfoundland, Prince Edward Island. Uh, Cape Cod will get clipped by some of the uh, showers by Falmouth and Bourne. There's some of the rain building off toward uh, the uh, southeast U.S. So getting clipped by the uh, Carolinas as you work your way toward uh, Cape Hatteras South. Better chances of some rain as we work our way into uh, Monday. Watching that area just to see if anything tries to spin up. Now the seas overall not bad, but as this tropical disturbance starts to work in, you can see the Atlantic passageways. This here is by Monday into Tuesday. The Atlantic passageways in northeastern Caribbean the seas are going to be elevated. Even if that area doesn't develop, those seas are going to be picking up. All right, let's track some of the rain totals around Cuba, western central zones. Some bigger thunderstorms will be possible. Over 100 millimeters of rain. 
watching out for the Bahamas, not just the northern Bahamas, but some scattered areas of rain, central and southern. And there's that heavier rain, especially back towards South Florida and the Keys at times. This is scattered. Jamaica, our rain chances higher. Cayman Islands, still that chance of storms like we had yesterday and last night. Haiti and the Dominican Republic, high concern for the rivers. In Puerto Rico, scattered areas of thunderstorms. And then Puerto Rico, back through the Northeastern Caribbean. We'll watch uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, even into Thursday. Thursday for a higher flood potential with that tropical disturbance that will be moving in. Here's some of that additional rain, Grenada, Trinidad, and Tobago, especially today, we could have some spots that get over 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain. So monitoring that as that moisture kind of feeds in northern Venezuela and central Venezuela, the rain. But look at these huge totals. Panama, Costa Rica, parts of Colombia, big flooding. Coastal sections of Nicaragua, Caribbean side in particular. Some spots over 150 millimeters of rain for a three-day total. Some of us may get up to about 20 centimeters of rain. And then we'll see how this moisture kind of pans out. Does something developing in here? That's what we'll be watching. So Belize, I'll be tracking that for us as we go through the week ahead. Some of the remnants of Lorraine are trying to die down, but still especially northwestern Mexico, better chance of some of the rain interior sections as well, uh, watching out for some flooding across uh, Mexico, and then scattered areas of rain. But this pocket in here in New Mexico, that can lend itself to about three inches of rain scattered about through Texas. So monitoring the rivers and the flood threat in through here, and there's some of the heavier rain. Even the Outer Banks of North Carolina could get clipped by three, four inches of rain just with that old front that will be moving by. So Jamaica, we're going to be active. A 60% chance of rain and storms over the next a couple of days. Cayman Islands, we're still looking at about a 60% chance of scattered rain and storms uh, today, down to about a 40% chance for tomorrow. But Trinidad and Tobago, the flood threat is higher for today, especially southern Trinidad. We'll be watching that. I'll be watching your comments throughout the day. Barbados, rain chance 40% today and a 30% chance tomorrow. St. Lucia, the next two days of 40, maybe 50% chance of scattered areas of rain. Grenada, the rain chance is going to be higher. May take a little bit longer starting in Trinidad and Tobago first. Tonight, we could have some heavier rain moving, uh, moving in. And then St. Vincent of the Grenadines as well, the next two days on the active side. Some of that rain really working in for tonight. Martinique, rain chance 40%. Dominica, 40% chance today and a 30% chance for tomorrow. And you see that rain chance in Guadalupe, same thing, 40% chance for today. Antigua and Barbuda, 30 to 40 percent chance, but Tuesday into Wednesday, that's when the rain chance is going to start to go up with that tropical disturbance moving in. Not seeing it developing at this point, but watching it. Same thing, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, and the same thing as we work our way back through Anguilla and St. Bart's. 30 to 40 percent chance in the short term, but by uh, early to midweek, we'll see that rain chance really Tuesday into Wednesday picking up. We'll do that again. St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. In the heads up, scattered areas of rain and flood potential in Puerto Rico. But again, Wednesday into Thursday, that's when the rain chance will be higher with that tropical disturbance. We'll be watching that as well. U.S. and British Virgin Islands to monitor for any flooding. Bahamas uh, scattered to widespread areas of rain favoring the northern Bahamas, but even central and southern zones could get in on the act. Turks and Caicos rain chance about 30%. And staying active, the Dominican Republic and Haiti, very active pattern, fills up the cisterns, that helps out, but watching the rivers and the mudslide up potential, especially as we work our way back toward Haiti. Belize, we're going to keep an eye on that rain chance building in monitoring if anything tries to develop in the Western Caribbean. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, by the time we get into Monday, the rain chance is going to bump up, starting to bump up slightly. We'll get a chance of some showers in the uh, forecast. 50% chance today in Guyana, rain chance holding at 30% the next few days in Suriname and scattered uh, rain and storms. Again, western and central zones, better chance in Cuba. Rain chance staying very high the next several days. Costa Rica and Panama, I've been mentioning that. Nicaragua, rain chance on the high side in certain spots favoring southern and eastern sections for the flooding. You see in Honduras, that rain chance growing. We need to monitor that rain in the uh, western Caribbean. 60 to 70% chance the next three days. Guatemala and El Salvador. Rain chance very high today around Mexico City, monitoring this uh, flooding. Really widespread throughout much of uh, Mexico over the next few days. We swing back, though, toward the Yucatan Peninsula. Not quite as much, but about a 40% chance. Cancun, Cozumel, Merida, and Campeche the next three days. Rain chance 60 to 70% northern Colombia. I mentioned already some of that flooding that we have been seeing staying active, staying active in northern uh, Colombia uh, over toward northern Venezuela. 
and in Bermuda, isolated showers, but watching those fronts. So very active uh, scenario, that tropical disturbance still moving toward the west. Uh, uh, the chance it forms is lower, but as we get into the upcoming week, we'll watch out for that chance of flooding. Big areas of rain already on the move from Costa Rica, Trinidad, scattered storms. We'll see that Jamaica, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Haiti, and the Bahamas. Uh, new tropical waves to watch as well that will be coming off the coast of Africa. And I want to monitor the Western Caribbean for the potential of development wherever the next name storm forms or whenever, uh, it will be uh, Gabrielle. That is the next name on the uh, list. So thank you for sharing this information and being part of this weather community. Have a really good day ahead.